All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another ride. Um, I'm actually on my way up to Mabalakat, and what you see here to the left, the highway there, is the Subi Clark Tarlac Expressway, and uh, um, I'm driving on what's called the Clark East uh, Perimeter Road. Uh, once you take this up here, um, you know, at the gate here, this is the gate, security gate, and then you know, you're coming up here, you see the building here on the left, um, and you go in this roundabout and make a left in it and go down. You are getting in to Clark Free Zone, and that's the Mabalakat gate. So, this one here, I am going to um, just uh, go a little different route. I have to stop and, um, you know, I started <laughs> the blog yesterday, actually, that's what I put out yesterday. And uh, now I'm going to go to the water company and make sure to pay that bill. So, um, uh, this is, uh, I think it's called Gilpoyet uh, Avenue, and it takes me in here to uh, Velasquez uh, Avenue, and this is just a little, uh, a little neighborhood, and at the end of this one here, you are uh, coming out at the uh, what do you call it, uh, Barangay San Francisco in Mabalaca, north of north of Mabiga. So that's what we're doing today to get this um, uh, bill paid. I was a late, one day late, and with you are, you have to go to the actual pay center for um, uh, the office, local office of the water company. They won't let you pay anywhere, so, which I find very strange. I, I mentioned that in the uh, other, uh, what do you call it, um, ride yesterday, uh, and especially in uh, COVID times, I think it's very strange uh, because 90% uh, it looks like uh, other people are not paying the bill on time, right? So, so uh, when you go then the day after due date or something, every everybody's panicking, trying to get it paid. So, electric or water don't get cut, and what ends up happening is that, especially at uh, Pelco you have literally hundreds of people trying to get in and pay the bill. So uh, it, it doesn't make any sense at all. If they let us pay somewhere uh, in a pay center, we have one within 30 second walking distance uh, from our apartment. And uh, I just slipped my mind and that's happen. Alright, so we are now out on MacArthur Highway and uh, uh, Barangay San Francisco is in here to the left. And we, um, yeah, this this will take you into Angeles if, if you stay on it all the way down there. So that's where we're heading. And, uh, you know, the other thing with us uh, is we are now starting getting more and more serious about uh, leaving this area um, and do it so permanently. Um, we have talked about it, discussed it, and then we'll, we'll see what will happen and how we 
can actually uh, get this uh, um, done. Uh, the problem I have is is uh, is the fact that, that we can't uh, just leave without having internet down there. All right, so <laughs> this has become a, um, pretty interesting, you know. Um, in the 90s, uh, you barely know what internet was. Uh, 1992, 95, when I built my first website, we have, uh, I think it was a 28K uh, dial-up modem or something like that. All right, I reached my destination, and uh, I'm going to take care of this, and then we'll go from there. Hang tight. All right, so that was a pretty smooth operation. Uh, you know, the security guard asked me, are you a senior? I said, well, it dep depends on what you mean. <laughs> if, you, if you're asking me if I'm retired, no. <laughs> so, uh, but he said, I, I can pay the bill for you. So, so they, they don't want to have um, elderly people in there. I think 60, and uh, I have reached that. So, um, he said, I'll pay the bill for you, no problem. So I gave them the bill, I earned the money, and uh, 30 seconds later, uh, I guess he gets to go first in line. <laughs> A few seconds later, he comes out with the receipt and the change, and uh, uh, that was very, very smooth. So I uh, will do that again, and uh, we'll continue the little journey here. Uh, coming down to uh, my big guy. All right, what's going on here? All right, so anyway, when it comes to our move, um, we're, we're actually feeling pretty good about it um, when it comes to uh, going down there and try to uh, clean up the property and uh, start building something you can actually live in and uh, we have some other plans as well and they'll be subject for our logs once we get down there so uh, the new type of motor blocks <laughs> once I get down there um, will not be on a motorcycle um, will be rather be on a motorboat um, taking you around the areas um, showing some of the um, pearls really um, in the Philippines you have um, sandbars uh, diving, snorkeling, you have all kinds of things that you uh, can do down there. You have the Candivara rock formations, several small local beaches, as well as huge sandbars, and some of them have been visited by, uh, you know, predominant bloggers like uh, Snow, Finn Snow and a few others have been around there. So it's a it's a uh, interesting area, and it's going to be fun to uh, come down there and entertain you that way instead. And uh, I have even had some conversations with uh, some buddies of mine, and uh, we have some plans, and we'll see how they go. Um, but that would be then um, uh, something that we would announce. Uh, so it's going to be a completely new YouTube blog. And uh, when that day comes, we will announce it. And uh, it is going to be about Philippine travel, things to do, um, places to see, and mainly do it from a 
decent size uh, boat. All right, so um, you know I'm not going to reveal anything more. Uh, when that day comes, um, we are going to announce it to you, obviously, and go from there. But it's going to be fun, and uh, we'll we'll see what we can do. All right, so uh, we are nearing our home turfs, uh, St. Raphael Medical Center here to the right. And uh, I don't know. I see this McDonald's here. Uh, and I started seeing a little bit. I think it's a new one. Anyway, so today has been like, well, for a long time here, it's like being overcast, um, not a whole lot of sun, uh, raining almost every day. Yesterday it, it rained like. Um, the sky opened up and uh, you know you, we got caught in, in writing we, had, we went up to Severa for a little bit and got caught up in the rain there so but uh, you know uh, one thing that is good with it is the fact that the um rain cools things off and uh, that's something we really really need it is really tough here when it comes to uh, the heat and I think this year um, has been like uh, exceptionally hot very very hot and uh, humid so um, it's nice to get this little break actually and uh, rain is okay with me and uh, here to the right behind this building here you have the Mabalakat market coming up here to the right is the um, marina uh, arcade and uh, I'm gonna head on down this way try to sneak through here All right, so we're gonna go down here. This is a little shortcut back to our apartment and our home. And uh, uh, anyway, I thank you for riding with me. If you stayed all the way here, um, and uh, again, like I always do, I announce the. Uh, live feed every Wednesday 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time that's for you guys in uh, United States it is Thursday morning here locally in Philippine at 8 a.m. Uh, and for those of you in Europe Stockholm it is actually 2 a.m. Thursday morning so if you can't sleep join us and uh, talk about things going on here in the Philippines all right thank you for uh, riding with us and again and uh, uh, we are gonna try to step up this and um, maybe next week we're heading out um, possibly down to Morong and we'll go from there and see what happens and uh, God bless and we'll see you at the next video thank you